<laughs> all right, what's up, guys? You all right? You guys straight? Is scared two black people back to back? Scared the fuck out you? <laughs> I heard you. You're like, two, two of them. That's not... I didn't come here for this. Do you know there's no black people in Newfoundland? You know how I know that? Because my face in an airport stops children from running. You understand that? When a little kid is running around the airport enjoying his life and my face fucks all that shit up. You, you know how it makes you feel when you step off of a plane and kill a kid's dreams with your face? <laughs> Walk in the baggage claim, 8 o'clock in the morning and you see, yeah! And parents don't make that shit any better. You know, parents like to grab the kid. I'm so sorry, he's just shy. That, that's not shy, heifer, okay? I know what shy looks like. That kid looks like he walked into his room and turned on the light and saw Whoopi Goldberg in lingerie on his bed. That's fear, okay? That's fear. And I don't care if he's four, he's a racist. Fuck him. Fuck your kid, okay? Okay? Because of course he's scared. Anything darker than the shade of a Care Bear is going to scare the fuck out of him. That's why there are no black hair bears. They have all the colors. They don't have black. You know why? Because you can't name a black bear love a lot. You can't name a black hair bear tender heart. You have to give it its real name, struggle bear. Do you understand? Struggle bear. And it wouldn't even have a heart on its chest. It'd have handcuffs or an eviction notice. And there's some black people shaking their heads right now, but deep down inside, you're like, that's real shit right there. <laughs> I was on the subway, and uh, I want to know why grown folks are still coughing without covering their mouths. <laughs> why is this still happening? Why is this still happening? And I'm not talking about regular coughs, because certain coughs I can understand, you know. <clears throat> too quick, you can't cover, I get it. You ever, you ever... <laughs> You ever cover, you ever, you ever cough and then cover your mouth after like a loser? <laughs> oh, shit, too quick. You know what I'm saying? I get it. But there are certain coughs that I don't understand why this is happening in public transit. I hate, I hate, I hate, and nobody says shit. Like we didn't just hear this guy spread AIDS all over the fucking subway and shit. The only person that says something is a Jamaican woman cursing to herself in the corner. I promise you. The next time you see somebody cough, look around. There is a Jamaican woman somewhere cursing the shit out of the coffer. And you will not understand a word she's saying. I have the man coming to the bumper car place. I just cough on people. My want to this man. And everyone's like, what the fuck is she saying? And I'm like, I don't know. I thought you guys vacationed at Sandals. You could translate this shit for me too. You know, my favorite thing to see on the subway too is like two imitation gangsters like always arguing and one guy will always say you know, you know where the hell I'm from yo? I'm from Scarborough yo! <laughs> and I'm like why does that end the argument? Why does that end? Why? Why does that end the argument? I saw a guy on the, on the basketball court one time and he's from the States and he did that same shit. He's like you know where the fuck I'm from son? I'm from New York! And I'm like but what if it's Buffalo? Like that's not scary at all. <laughs> Scarborough, I understand, you know, it has a bit of a rep, you know, scary, you know, like I'm the type of guy that if you say, I'm from Scarborough, I'd be like, you should have said that at the beginning of the argument, we could have ended, we could have moved past this, but there are certain places you can't say, like you, you can't be like, you know where the fuck I'm from, yo, Brampton, shut, sit down, shut up, that's not scary at all, there's, you can leave your bike outside your house, there's nothing scary about, you know, what, you know what's a gangster place, Jana Finch, you, you know why, that's the, put your hand down, stop that, you know why it's scary? Because I went to McDonald's and they gave me a Big Mac with no meat. <laughs> you know how gangster that shit is? That somebody was making a hamburger and forgot the burger. Like, do you know how gangster that is where a man's making a burger and he's like, yo, this shit don't look right, but yo, fuck this. And walks away. That's amazing. That's amazing. And I know there was a guy that said, come on, Donovan, it's two RP patties. What's wrong with you? Hey, man, shut up. Don't yell at me, dog. <laughs> Just give it to the dude, man. If he remembers, then let me know. I don't fucking care. Dog. And walked away. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. 
Forgetting to put a burger in a hamburger is like getting dressed for your own wedding and then realizing you didn't ask nobody to marry you in the first place and shit. <laughs> Shout out to the ladies in the house, you know. <laughs> Segway, man. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Shout out to the ladies, you know? Cause you're, Cause you're psycho and you know it. You're psycho, you've been psycho since the third grade. Cause you invented games that hurt people's feelings and shit. Why couldn't you be like the guys? We just went outside, found a rock, pick up the rock, throw the rock, knock somebody the fuck out, simple. You girls invented games that make people wanna change their face and shit. Remember being a boy, third grade, having a good time with your life, and a girl came up to you with a piece of paper and fucked your whole day up, remember that shit? Pick a number. <laughs> three, yeah, one, two, three. Okay, pick a color. Blue, yeah, B, L, U, oh, you're fucking gay. That's what it says. What kind of game is this? Stupid game, I don't like it. Look at all the guys not clapping because you picked blue and shit, didn't you? Because you told all your friends, bro, I don't know what the fuck happened, bro, but I'm fucking gay, bro. <laughs> it's not like being a guy, man. Our games were simple, you know? Throw shit and see what it looks like bouncing off somebody's face. Simple. Every guy in here heard the teacher during dodgeball specifically say, when you throw the ball to get somebody out, make sure it goes below the waist. Is that understood, class? Then he would look at the guys. Is that understood, class? And the guys replied the same way all the time. Nah, man, when you turn around, I'm aiming for bitches' faces. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and we threw, it like, we threw it like a baseball. Like, I don't know why. The girls played normal. You girls were human beings. You threw it underhand. That's how you play dodgeball. Guys, we threw that shit like we were pitching for the Yankees every fucking time. Yo, she's not looking, bro, right? Motherfucker. <laughs> Sarah, she's out. She's out. She's out cold, but she's out. To, why am I in trouble? It's called dog ball. She should have fucking dodged. Well, then tell her that when she wakes up because she sucks. Anyway, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much.